Hello guys! A month or even more has passed since the day we created a transparent hive and moved a bee colony into it. Let's see what has happened during this time. Who missed the first video, I remind that our transparent hive has two transparent side walls which are usually closed by doors. Opening the doors, we see the life of bees behind the glass. You can watch them for hours. The hive contains 8 frames, but as the family is not large, we have to shrink it to 6 frames. And here we put a carton of syrup. They drink it in less than a day. Take out their proboscis, by the way, look how long it is. They make a hole in the carton, get to the syrup and drink the nectar. By the way, only worker bees have such a proboscis. Neither the drone nor the queen is endowed with this part of the body. Bees collect nectar with the proboscis, put it in a honey stomach and transport honey to the hive. In addition to honey, the collectors bring pollen to their house, which they collect in special baskets – pollen basket. And the worker bee is able to produce milk for feeding young larvae and queens. Also, the glands of the bee are able to produce wax for the construction of honeycombs. And neither drone nor bee queen has such a dangerous weapon as stings with poison. By the way, in the last video we promised to find and show what a drone and a queen look like. There are a few bees, guess which one is the drone? I think it's not difficult. Firstly, it is much larger than worker bees and secondly, it just has huge eyes. So we take it carefully with tweezers. As we've said, it has no sting, you can safely put it on the palm and even stroke it. There is nothing special to tell about it. The drone can only eat honey, and if it is lucky, it will fertilize the queen. It doesn't do any other work around the hive. The other thing is the bee queen. Try to find it among the bees. It is exactly where there is a crowd of bees. Look how other bees are running around it. This is its retinue. They feed it, look after it. By the way, if a worker bee lives from a few days to some months, then the queen is about three years old. The queen has only one job, but what? It is a continuous laying of eggs from which new bees are born. Look how the queen works when laying eggs. First it lowers its head into the comb. It looks that the cell is empty and prepared to receive an egg, inserts the abdomen into the honeycomb and freezes for a few seconds. And again, it pulls the abdomen out of the cell at the bottom of which an oblong egg remains. And the queen is already looking for another cell for the next egg. And so the queen is able to lay one and a half thousand eggs per day. It simply doesn't have time for other functions, even to stop and eat. That is why the retinue accompanies the queen and feeds it with milk on the go. What's interesting is that the queen doesn't eat honey like a normal bee or drone. It is fed exclusively with milk. As we have already said, bees feed with milk not only the queen, but also the larva, which will come out of the egg in three days. Here you can see larvae in different sizes in the comb. It's very simple, they have different ages. This larva grows for six days and during this time it increases more than 500 times. After six days, the dormant stage begins. The worker bees build a wax cover over the cell and the larva turns into a cocoon. After 12 days, the worm will turn into a bee. At first, its body is white, but the future bee is already clearly visible. Eyes, horns and paws have been formed. 12 days after the start of the dormant stage, the lid breaks and an adult winged bee emerges from the cell. Here are the newborn bees chewing at the wax cap and ready to join the work on the hive. The first two weeks from birth, the bee doesn't fly out to collect nectar, but works exclusively inside the hive. It feeds the larvae, cleans the combs or builds new ones. And like any girls, they do not miss the opportunity to talk to each other. The bees are also busy maintaining a constant temperature of 35 degrees Celsius or 95 Fahrenheit. 
Bees are the optimal conditions for the development of new larvae. Bees are able to raise their body temperature by several degrees in a matter of minutes and work like living stoves. And on hot days, some of the bees get out to reduce the temperature inside the hive. But if the temperature continues to rise, the bees bring water into the hive. The honeycombs are covered with a thin water film and evaporate the moisture by waving their wings. That is, the bees turn into a fan and distill superheated air to the entrance and through the entrance to the outside. By the way, talking about some unique abilities, here's another fun fact. Having settled the bees, a part of them remains on the old hive walls. We leave them near the new house, and then one by one they have been climbing up for an hour. But the funny thing is that they have to build a living suspension bridge. Just imagine a bridge of bees! And more than 1000 insects have crossed over this bridge to the other side. And now let's see what happened this month in a transparent hive. New bees have appeared, the family has grown and we have added some frames. There are such sheets of wax for sale, where the foundation of future honeycombs has already been laid. We put the frame in the hive and wait until the bees complete the combs. I even tried to time-lapse how bees build honeycombs, but this process is too long. Three days have passed. The foundation has been drawn and the bees begin to build honeycombs as they are. They even stuck to the glass. We installed this frame two weeks ago. The bees not only completed the construction, but also filled it with honey. In some places, they even sealed honeycombs. And here is another place where they attached honeycombs to glass and filled them with honey. Let's summarize. In general, bees develop well even in a transparent hive. The family is getting stronger, there are more and more bees, and there is even honey. If you want to continue, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to like the bees! Bye-bye!